Heading, Women in Public Ministry. Subheading, The Effectiveness of Women's Work. Women can be the instruments of righteousness, rendering holy service. It was Mary that first preached the risen Jesus. If there were twenty women, where now there is one, who would make this holy mission their cherished work, we should see many more converted to the truth. The refining, softening influence of Christian women is needed in the great work of preaching the truth. Review and Herald, January 2, 1879. Subheading, Husband and Wife in a United Work. There are women who should labor in the gospel ministry. In many respects, they would do more good than the ministers who neglected to visit the flock of God. Manuscript 43A, 1898. Subheading, Wisdom Needed to Choose Gospel Teachers. There should be selected for the work wise, consecrated men who can do a good work in reaching souls. Women also should be chosen who can present the truth in a clear, intelligent, straightforward manner. We need among us laborers who see the need of a deep work of grace to be done in hearts, and such should be encouraged to engage in earnest missionary effort. There has long been the need for more of this class of workers. We must pray most earnestly, Lord, help us to help one another. Self must be buried with Christ, and we must be baptized with the Holy Spirit of God. Then will be revealed in speech, in spirit, and in our manner of labor, the fact that the Spirit of God is guiding. We need as workers, men and women, who understand the reasons of our faith, and who realize the work to be done in communicating truth, and who will refuse to speak any words that will weaken the confidence of any soul in the word of God or destroy the fellowship that should exist between those of like faith. Letter 54, 1909. Subheading, A Bible Instructor ad Addresses Congregation. Every week tells its story. One soul or two souls receive the truth and the wonderful change in their features and in their character so marked by their neighbor that the conviction of the very life of their neighbors is leading others to the truth, and they are now searching the scriptures diligently. Sister R and Sister W are doing just as efficient work as the ministers. In some meetings, when the ministers are called away, Sister W takes the Bible and addresses the congregation. Letter 169, 1900. Subheading, A Sister to Address the Crowd. We believe fully in the church organization, but are nothing that is to prescribe the precise way in which we must work, for all minds are not reached by the same methods. Each person has his own lamp to keep burning, very much more light from one such lamp onto the path of the wanderer than would be given by a whole torchlight procession got up a parade and show. Oh, what a work may be done if we will not stretch ourselves beyond our measure. Teach this, my sister. You have many ways open before you. Address the crowd whenever you can. Hold every jot of influence you can buy by any association that can be made the means of introducing the leaven to the meal. Every man and every woman has a work to do for the master. Personal consecration and sanctification to God will accomplish through the most simple methods more than the most imposing display. Review and Herald, May 9, 1899. Subheading, Camp Meeting Bible Class Conducted by Women. Our camp meetings are to be conducted in such a way that they shall be schools for the education of workers. We need to have a better understanding of the division of labor and educate all how to carry each part of the work successfully. Let short discourses be given and let, let, let Bible classes be held. Let the speaker be sure to rivet the truth upon minds. Intelligent women, if truly converted, can act a part in this work of holding Bible classes. There is a wide field of service for women as well as for men. Letter 84, 1910.